Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 16 in fabric playlist. In this video, I wanted to discuss about how we can navigate through the lake house inside the Microsoft fabric. So in our previous video, we have discussed about what is lake house. So this video is about the navigation, like how that fabric lake house explorer look like, what menus and sub menus are there. So there are mainly three sections. One is lake house explorer, main view, and the river view. Each view has couple of capabilities that will help us to easily navigate through the objects in the lake house. So let's go to fabric workspace first and let's try to create one lake house and do that. So at this moment, I am inside my workspace. So let me hit this new more option and let me choose lake house option to create a fabric lake house. So I am going to name it like demo lake house. Okay. So that's the name of the lake house which I wanted to give for my fabric lake house. You can see that lake house is getting created. It will take four to five seconds. So once it get created, you primarily see three different areas here. The first area here you see this is the ribbon area and this is the lake house explorer area and this is the main area. Okay. So these are all the three areas. So this is main area. Okay. Uh, so now what every area does. So let's try to understand that. So if I go back to my one note, you see Lake House Explorer actually provides the graphical representation of your entire Lake House. Okay. It contains mainly table section and file section. So let me show you that. So if I go to the Lake House, this Explorer area, whatever you are seeing here, you see two sections here, tables and files. This entire Explorer area gives the graphical representation of your entire lake house actually all the data you can try to navigate from here uh, under the tables you generally see the tables uh, in the lake house these tables are generally in delta format under the files you will see the files uh, from different sources you might have loaded the files into the lake house so those files on top of that files only you generally create tables those tables will come here so let's try to upload one file here so i'm I'm going to files here, creating a subfolder, naming it data and inside the data folder, I am going to upload, right upload. Then there is a upload files option. Then from my system under downloads, I have dimension dot customer dot CSV file. So this file I am uploading it here. So it is basically a customer's data, which I downloaded from the Microsoft organization fabric repository okay so there is a fabric samples repository anybody can use those samples if you want to use the same file what you have to do it is uh, let's go here in the new tab search like microsoft organization in github search for that and when you see that you see a uh, url this one open that github.com slash microsoft so this is the organization officially given by microsoft where entire open source projects generally hosted. Uh, if you scroll down, there is a section for the repositories. Okay, under the repositories section, it will list down all the repositories. Search for fabric samples repository. So I'm searching here for fabric. Okay, so when I search for fabric, I should see the fabric samples repository. Open that fabric samples repository. And inside that, there is document samples. Open that. And there is data engineering folder go inside that folder and there is a dot csv file dimensions underscore customer dot csv file this is the exactly same file which i downloaded into my local and i uploaded into the lake house as well so to download this file you can open that file and then you can hit this download icon here that will help you to download the file okay so going back to our lake house if i expand this data folder you see that I am seeing the CSV file. Okay. So this is the file section. Okay. And on top of these files, right click, I can load these files into tables as well. So when I say that it will ask me to give the name for the table and what is the separator of the data comma and first row is the header. So select these settings, hit the load button to load this CSV file as a Delta table into the lake house. So give the couple of seconds after a couple of seconds, under tables folder, you should see the dimension customer table, which we are automatically generating it. So let's go back to tables folder. 
you see here table got created successful and we can see the table as well and if I expand the table I should see the column names of that uh, table as well okay so these tables and file section are the main sections which are available in the explorer section okay now second thing is the main area so this is the another section uh, in this main area actually you will interact with the lake house objects okay so whatever the data you interact in the lake house it will generally appear in the main area for example uh, i can go to this data folder and there is a csv file right see the moment so i am able to interact with the folder now in the main area and the moment i click the file it is automatically opening the file view also and you can see this is right now it's a preview state but i am able to view the data inside the file okay so all the interactions whatever you do in the fabric with the objects be it me folder be it maybe file be it maybe table everything will actually happen here even the notebooks and other things you can they will appear in the main area and you can start coding it okay so this is that file preview the same way if i click this object the table object automatically a table view come so this is table preview view okay so here a data grid came along with all the columns and rows kind of a representation to represent your data and the beauty about this data grid is you can actually sort the information you can actually filter the information etc you see this on the customer column when i click the three dots it is asking me to sort the information i can sort it also also i can filter it also maybe i can go here uh, i will search for maybe customer id 100 i'm just filtering for customer id 100 right i'm able to filter also so this data grid is very much equipped that will help you to easily navigate through your data in the grid representation okay so let's go back to the one note so we have discussed about lake house explorer where the table section and file section are there and the main area also we have discussed now the ribbon area it is actually like a quick access bar actually so for example if i go to the lake house you see this particular section at the top this is called the ribbon area and there are so many uh, quick access buttons are available there that will help you to do quick actions such as for example you can refresh your lake house here you can navigate to the settings of the lake house here see when i uh, click this so it will open the settings for the lake house and i can use this get data menu to get the data from different different uh, variety of the sources into my lake house and I can create a new semantic model. I can open or create a new notebook. I can also manage my one leg data access from here. So all these options deeply we will go through in our upcoming videos. This video is only for the navigational comfort. Now, in our previous video, we said that Lakehost will actually come with a SQL endpoint as well. With that, you can actually query the information, right? because it's like a data warehouse technically right so that sql endpoint view also you can directly access from here at the top right scanner if you select the sql analytics endpoint it will automatically open the sql analytics endpoint for that particular lake house and you can play with the data there using the sql capabilities okay again we'll discuss more in our upcoming videos so let's go back so these are all the main three uh, navigational views this entire lake house explorer contains I hope this video you guys find it useful. If you like it, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel so that you will find this kind of content very regularly. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.